and gentlemen, to round four qualifying. Um, I felt like doing this for this race uh, just because I thought it'd be a little bit of fun. Oh. Ooh. I didn't know I could do that. All right. So I just learned something new today. Okay, um, apparently I can't readjust that, which is kind of stupid, but, oh well. Um, yeah, I figured, you know, I'm not going to be on until tomorrow, more than likely. And you can see we have a new rival, Max Verstappen. So I'm not going to be on until probably tomorrow or the day after, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and get qualifying out of the way. And I figured, why not bring it to you guys? Why not do it live? So here we go qualifying. Welcome back to Sochi. We're about to be joining the action down in the pit lane as the cars get ready to embark on their qualifying runs. This is the kind of track that eats rear tyres for breakfast, or so I'm told by more experienced drivers than myself. No matter how good a driver is at managing their throttle application to limit rear slip, they can't always overcome a car that's inherently bad at looking after its rear tyres. Here we have a lot of low speed corner exits, which means a whole load of energy, heat and tyre wear. So here we are in qualifying and I'm going to speed it up until some guys actually get on track. There we go. So here is Romain Groshaw, our teammate. Let's see what kind of lap he can put in. And uh, I usually don't go out until, you know, right at the end. I, I put in one lap and I'm done. That's all I really feel the need to do and that's all I ever do. So I, I'll probably end up simulating a little bit further ahead again. Uh, more towards the end of this session. The only session we'll watch in full is the final session. So, decent first sector for Romain. Went 211 into the speed trap, so we're looking fairly alright, I'd say, for uh, that. We're, we're actually not bad on our top speed. Uh, these Haas cars with the engine upgrade really. Yeah. really got a lot better with the engine um, upgrade put on the car so we'll, we'll see how that works out for us I don't know if that's going to be something that's going to allow us to finish extremely well here but uh, we hope so that's for sure so Romain goes 35.384 through sector 2 what's he going to run through sector 3 and what will be his lap time and where will it put him as you can see, currently P8. Uh, let's see here as he comes to the line. Around the final corner he comes. Short stretch just to the line. He goes P2. Ladies and gentlemen, Sergio Perez goes P1 though. So there's really not much there considering and there you go damn well Ricardo puts down his lap. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and jump a little bit and see what kind of laps we're going to be looking at. Hopefully Romain can keep in the top 10. I'd like to see him join me in the, the final session. And I say that because usually I end up in the final session. There we go. We are going to keep with the setup that we used all throughout practice as it uh, resulted in fairly decent lap times and allowing me to run fairly high up the board so I'm excited about what this setup has to offer and we'll see what we can do on this one lap actually I probably have enough time to get in two laps but uh, I'm just going to do the one unless I need to do a second let's put it that way
that's qualifying over for us. Wow. Jump to P3 on the board. I think that's going to do it. We're going to return to the garage. And I'm actually stunned by that, to be honest. Um, I, I, I knew we had a decent car, but geez, to go P3 in Q1? I, I was not expecting that. I was expecting to be more around where uh, Vettel and Botas are, the 8th, ninth position. And maybe it's because of the uh, soft tires run by Raikkonen and Vettel and Rosberg and Verstappen. So that that could possibly be part of it. Uh, I'm sure they'll speed up. So maybe I'll probably be somewhere around 7th, uh, 8th in the next round. We'll see. Hopefully. I'm, I'm really hoping that Romain manages to get his way into um, Q3. It'd be great. I've I've made it into Q3 in all three events so far, or all three Grand Prix so far this season. So the opportunity to make it into Q3 would be fantastic to have both of the Haas F1 cars in there. And uh, let's go ahead and start simulating this through. And actually, once again, 211 speed trap, first quickest. Let's see what he can do. First sector faster than last time, uh, or faster than his Q1 sector one time. So let's see if uh, that'll help him out here as he is on the super softs yet again for Romain. He ran 35.5 in Sector 1 of Q1, 35.4 in Q2 for Sector 1. As he's going to come down to Sector 2 here, 35.3. That's almost on par with what he ran uh, in Q1. So we'll see what he does through Sector 3 and see if lap time improves. He ran a 139, I believe, or 140. One of those two he is now second quickest speed trap. So somebody did outpace him through the speed trap. Right, here we go. Final corner. 140.6. He goes fourth. And that's not bad. He's ahead of Alonzo and Kvyat. Kvyat, whatever. However you want to pronounce it. Uh, things are looking all right for him right now. And that's going to be our cue right there. Five minutes remaining. We're going to head on track and we're going to see if we can't make it to Q3. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. If I don't make it to Q3, as long as I queue up in uh, 12th or better, I'm okay. So 12th or 11th wouldn't even be mad about that. Uh, Obviously, they want us to beat for Stappen. I honestly don't think that's going to happen. I really think those guys are just that much faster than us. And that the only difference was that they were on the soft compounds in the uh, Q1. I mean, look at Rosberg. He went top of the board in Q2. So, Oh, no. No, no, no. You stay there. Son of a bitch. You deserve that. Not really. That was kind of a dick move, but I was on a flyer. Two minutes remaining in the session. 
It was more of a dick move from him to pull out like he did. Quite frankly, I don't even know which one of the Williams that was. It kind of seemed like a bow toss move, though, at least on this game. This lap is not exactly on par for my best lap around here, but we'll see. As I say that, I actually am not far off on the split time through that sector. To the final corner. That's P7. That's, that's about where I thought I'd be, to be honest. I think that's good enough lap. So I'd like to, of course, come back to the garage and see how Romain's doing. He's getting on in ninth. And look at that. We have both Haas's advancing to Q3. So both the Mercedes, both Red Bulls, both Ferraris, both Haas's, and both Williams. We'll advance to Q3. I'm actually extremely excited about the fact that for the first time, both one cars will be in Q3. Myself and Roman Groshan. So, excellent, excellent outing for uh, Haas F1 so far in, in Russia. Um, the Americans are invading Russia, apparently. <laughs> race team and the driver so here we go like I said we are going to watch the whole of uh, this session so we're now on board with Nico Rosberg the only car currently on track as he takes his flyer or outlap my bad Alright, as we do have seven cars on track currently, eight now, uh, pretty much the entirety of the field is currently on track. So, let's see what we got here. We have Rosberg, Raikkonen, Romain, who is on his outlap, oh no, flying lap I guess it is. So we'll see how this works out for him. Obviously, want to keep uh, eyes on Romain as he is our teammate here. I think the question is obviously, can he go fast enough to put down a lap to be better than ninth? Uh, he did run P9 in uh, Q2 which was an improvement over what he did in, in Q1, as he does go 210 miles per hour. I want to see, wow, Lewis Hamilton in Botas. 
So not bad, not bad overall for the uh, speed trap. So let's see what he does here. Has one point, I believe that was in um, Bahrain. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I believe we both scored points in Bahrain. Um, he had a good race going for him in Shanghai, but I believe he ended up finishing in 11th. And uh, he missed the points quite a bit in Australia, I'm pretty sure. So overall, he's been improving. The, the whole car has been improving. I've just been running it so hard. Uh, and I think my advantage in Ch Shanghai was uh, simply because of the rain. I think that's the only reason I ran as well as I did was the, the rain. And wow, 35-3 in Sector 1. He's even faster this time. So will that translate to a faster lap and possibly a slightly higher starting position? He's going to go P5, which is technically a last at the moment. I'm confused. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So I'm guessing that. All right. One of the Williams is not able to make qualifying, I guess. Um, yeah, interesting. Please, why are you going to make an in-lap now? You actually just ran slightly faster through Sector 1 that time. Given, not fast enough, but I mean, everybody else is... I, how did you even make it? To be honest, jeez. Oh well. Lewis is in. I think uh, Ricardo's going to be coming in. There's Vettel, Verstappen, Raikkonen. There goes Botas in. Here comes Romain. I think I'm about to head out with everybody heading in. Yeah, why not? Let's take our lap. So here we go. Yep, it, it would appear that the other Williams, Felipe Massa, could not make Q3. So he will roll off 10th, which means Romain can't go any lower than 9th, or myself. So. Everything looks all right right now for the team. Romain's going to lead a group of cars back out on track. Uh, I actually may stay out here and allow him a chance to put down another lap.
as I go P7, which does move, which is right where I should be, to be honest. That's where I uh, ran in Q2. So, but that means that Romain is P9, and I haven't really done a second lap this entire time, so why not? Let's see if we can improve on lap two. And Romain will get the chance at one more lap. I'll actually put down the third lap. I don't think I'll put down a timed third lap, but I will go around the third time just so that uh, he'll have that chance. Because for whatever reason, if I enter the pits now or whatever, he doesn't get to take his lap. So I'll be a nice teammate, I guess. Although it really helps anybody that's on track, so. Slightly off from our uh, previous lap time. Let's see if we can't actually improve. If we're improving on our lap time by the time we come through, or start to come towards those final couple corners, then... Uh, We'll see about staying out here, possibly. Actually, I don't think that's a... We'll see. That's a guarantee that I'm going to finish that lap. <laughs> Actually, looking like it could have been row two possibility here. Oh, uh -huh. we're gonna recover some of that. And it is row two. P4. And there's uh, on board of Romain. The grid is all set then for the race he does go P9. Go, let's remind so. of our top three. Actually, the extremely the thrilled with that. I did beat Max Daniel Verstappen, Ricardo. which was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> part of my goal for the rivalry so I don't know how I pulled that off but uh, we went P4 not really sure what this means for the team if maybe it's Russia or what um, I actually was struggling when I was doing everything uh, earlier working on this difficulty so I, I don't really know what's going on with it but hey what works works and I'm I'm okay with it so we'll see how many resource points we have here and uh, we'll make our decision if we're going to use them here or if we're going to wait until after Spain and uh, work on possibly getting major downforce upgrades headed into Monaco. So we do have 905 resource points. We are currently losing the rivalry. Uh, he was definitely faster in most of the sectors and had the faster lap overall. So... Yeah, 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 I continue full first driver. All right. So let's take a look here. Research and development. So 550. Uh, or I could. Or I could wait till after this race and then after Spain 
and I could probably do downforce, chassis, and drag headed into Monaco, which would be amazing going forward. So that's what we're going to end up doing. So thank you guys, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us as we take a quick look here at the standings. Currently six points behind Nico Rosberg. Uh, it's actually been a really, really good season for us so far. One point behind Force India. So very pleased with how this season is turning out for us. I think uh, chassis weight and downforce together will probably put us up somewhere around where, yeah, where Williams is. Obviously, we can already compete with them, so I think those upgrades will help us going into Monaco. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us, and I hope you've enjoyed this video.